The 16-8 fasting is possibly the easiest weight loss and wellness method you could find. So, if you're watching this video, you're probably a beginner in this method, want to try it out and see for yourself how it'll benefit, right? So, we're here to give you 5 main steps on how to start 16-8 intermittent fasting and how not to fail in it at the very start. Step number 1. Understand how 16-8 works. Okay, so for those who are not sure what 16-8 really is, let us explain it a bit. Just to make sure we're on the same page. 16-8 is a form of intermittent fasting when you eat during the 8-hour window. During these 8 hours, you can eat all your meals and snacks, and the rest 16 hours, you fast. During your fasting window, you can only drink unsweetened drinks, such as water, tea, or coffee. But why should you choose intermittent fasting? Well, it's an effective way to lose weight, improve blood sugar, boost brain function, and increase longevity. Also, the 16-8 pattern is really flexible and easy to follow because you decide the most convenient timing of your eating and fasting windows. For example, you can eat between noon and 8 p.m., which means you'll only need to fast overnight and skip breakfast. It's super beneficial to stick with this form over the long term because without counting every single calorie, you're still losing weight. But as simple as it sounds, we know that it can be complicated at the very beginning, so let's move to another step. Step number two, fighting your hunger pangs. You might be struggling with your hunger at the very beginning of 16-8. We're not gonna lie, you will get hungry. It's simply because your body isn't used to going long periods without food. Think of your stomach as something that needs to be trained. It means fasting will be difficult, but after a three to five day transition, your body will become more comfortable without stuffing loads of food into your stomach. We strongly suggest keeping yourself busy to stay on track, especially at the very beginning. It's much easier to stick to your fast if you don't have tons of time to snack. Because come on guys, bored eating is bad eating. Step number three, drink loads of water. Okay, so another must thing to do during 16-8 fasting, drink your water. Even if you're not fasting, we're pretty sure you're not drinking enough of it, right? During fasting, it is really important to keep up your water intake. Water cleans out your whole system and effectively removes toxins from your body. Drinking water regularly can help you reduce calorie intake because people often mistake thirst for hunger. So here's the tip, drink at least eight glasses of water every day. Make sure you drink a glass of water first thing in the morning and before every meal. That's four glasses already. Later on, you'll notice that drinking water is turning into a habit. Step number four, avoid snacking by this simple step. All right, so raise your hand if you've ever gone to the movies after your eating window and suddenly wanted some snacks and a gallon of cola. Yep, same here. By choosing the hours when you eat, you may notice some patterns you didn't pay attention to before. Let's say you're the person who just loves to snack while watching TV. So if you're fasting, for example, after 7 p.m., you've automatically cut hours from your after dinner snacking. So how could you solve this problem? Easy as that, going to bed earlier. You see, building a steady and regular sleep schedule will help you minimize food cravings, improve metabolism, and will boost your weight loss results. Another thing, a regular sleep schedule will help you relieve your stress. High stress causes the body to store fat to protect itself, so by reducing stress, you will keep the pounds off. So, get some sleep! Step number five, don't overindulge in unhealthy food. You've probably heard it before about fasting, eat whatever you want, or don't stop eating your favorite foods. This is true, but most of the time, people take this idea a little too far. Sure, you can have a burger once in a while, but having it every time during your fasting window will mess up all your results. While the 16-8 fasting doesn't specify which foods to eat and avoid, it's important to focus on healthful eating and to limit or avoid junk foods. You can eat what you want, but you still need to maintain a balanced diet full of vegetables, whole grains, and good fats that will keep you full. Make sure you eat enough to make it through your next fasting window. If you're really hungry because you didn't eat a full meal, you're much more likely to break your fast. Listen guys, just close your kitchen door after dinner, get more sleep, eat enough to make it through your next fasting window, and soon you'll notice positive results with your weight loss and overall health. If you are struggling with food cravings during fasting, watch the video, Four Ways to Reduce Hunger During Intermittent Fasting. And if you want to find out how to choose the right drinks while fasting, check out Top 6 Drinks That Make Your Fasting Easier. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Health Insider.